Recently, when I visited my family, we made a shrimp mold or a shrimp dip that you can eat with crackers or chips. To begin, we boiled about one to two pounds of shrimp. We set the shrimp broth aside. It made almost a cup. The other ingredients include a package of Philadelphia cream cheese. We used the original variety. We also used two packets of the Knox Original Gelatin. This is the unflavored variety. We also used a can of Campbell's Cream of Shrimp Soup, condensed, and some garlic powder. Once we set the shrimp aside and separated it from the broth, we went ahead and mashed it. We just used a spoon like this, but you can find other ways to mash it. You just want it to be kind of like ground shrimp. We also had a cup of chopped celery and some green onion. We begin by adding the shrimp broth to a pan. This is a 5.5 quart. We add the gelatin to the shrimp broth. And as you can see, we have it cooking on a medium high heat. We're adding now the second packet of gelatin. As you can see, it's starting to boil just a little bit, which is good because you want all of that gelatin to mix well in the broth. And we stir the gelatin into the broth so that it doesn't get all clumpy. You want to make sure it dissolves. And sometimes you have to work through some of the clumps to make sure they dissolve. Once the gelatin is dissolved, it's time to add the other ingredients. We're going to start with the cream cheese. You just want to break it up into little blocks and add it to the broth. And you want to stir the cream cheese into the broth until it all cooks down. Once the cream cheese is all melted, we can remove it from the heat. And here we add our can of condensed cream of shrimp. And you just want to stir it to blend and make sure it all combines to become smooth. And this is the texture we're going for, nice and creamy. This is what you want it to look like. Once it has cooled a little bit, we want to chill it in the fridge. We added a little Tony's at this point because we realized we hadn't yet. Once it's chilled, we're ready to add it to our pan. And we're using this type of pan, what you would use to make a bundt cake, I suppose. I think that's what it is. We coat it with some butter spray. We added our diced shrimp to our mixture. And we add our celery. And we add a swirl of menez. Actually, several swirls, I should say. <laughs> now we swirl in our ketchup. Just a little bit of ketchup, not nearly as much as the mayo.
Now we just stir to combine all of these ingredients. Once everything was combined, we decided to add a little more ketchup. And then finally, we were able to add our green onion. Now we're ready to add our mixture to our bundt pan. We covered it in saran wrap to allow it to cool some more in the fridge. Once it is chilled overnight, we're ready to flip it over onto a plate. And here we go, we've got a shrimp dip. And we like to eat it on crackers or chips. Thanks for watching.